traveled to New York City to help out with the COVID-19 crisis. But while she was there, she got some surprising news, a diagnosis, and it wasn't with the virus. Fox 17's Julie Dunmire tells us why it taught her to trust her gut, Julie. Doug and Janice, Hannah Hodges tells me that she had been feeling back pain for some while. Doctors told her maybe she'd just torn a muscle, giving her job so physical as a paramedic. But she knew something else was up, which is why she says she's glad with, she went with her gut. They ended up finding a large tumor in her spinal canal. So I've been a paramedic for geez, almost like eight years, so in EMS for 10 years now. Hannah Hodges loves helping others, which is why she became a paramedic. I got deployed to New York City with, I think there were nine of us, um, like a lot of EMTs and paramedics um, out there had gotten really sick. COVID-19 or not, Hannah wanted to be there, so much so she ignored some of her own pain the first few days. Um, and I was having a lot of back pain while I was out there, um, but that wasn't that unusual. I'd been having a lot of back pain for a while. She started seeing a chiropractor while in New York who suggested she get an MRI. Since Hannah was only working part-time while finishing up her degree at GVSU, she knew she'd had to pay out of pocket for the scan, but it's a good thing she did. They were like, yeah, you have a big tumor on your spine, and I was like, not really expecting that news at all. That tumor is taking up more than 99% of her spinal canal. I cried and called my mom like anyone would. FEMA employed her as a paramedic and sent her back home, where she's facing surgery and even more medical bills. So she set up this GoFundMe page to help with expenses, already nearing her $10,000 goal. Hannah says she's just happy she trusted her instincts. Um, so I really had to be my own advocate for because I knew it wasn't just a torn muscle. And she says she's glad she did because actually she's going to have to go into surgery this coming Saturday to remove that tumor. Now, it's not known at this time if it's cancerous or not. Doctors have told her it looks like it could be cancer, but they're going to have to biopsy to know it. But either way, that tumor has got to come out so she can get back to a normal, healthy life. If you'd like to help Hannah, we have information with that linked with this story on our website shortly. Reporting live in Grand Rapids, Julie Dunmire, Fox 17 News. All right, thank you for that, Julie. We wish her the best, of yeah. course. Uh, there are no spring sports right now.